Okay. Do I get Judgment or Sanct? I guess Sanct to help Zul'jin with his uh, Tazdingo. Hmm. Is Medivh like free to play right now or something? So many. My fate must be a bright one, to have an ally such as you. I am glad to see you as well, friend. The battle yes, begins this in will help. 10 seconds. I went for protection and death. Five, four, three, two, it's really hard to hit one. enemies anyway. Fight. And without a support, I'm probably not going to stay alive. So I'll get this one. And then I can shield Zul'jin and we can win the game with that. Now these three guys are a, uh, a group in quick match. So if I go by myself, that Finally. will do them a favor. Does he go taste for blood? He does. Okay, I'll help him stack. So we get good late game potentially. That's two stacks if you wanted it. Eternity awaits us. I will bring order to chaos. Eternity awaits us. They always know. I must act. To battle. Understood. As long as I don't take amplified healing at four again, I'll be happy. Without the support. Remain steadfast. Here, gather tribute and earn my you cannot favor. stand before El Druin. Oh, he took the howling blast CDR. No, he didn't. Understood. It's just that short. You cannot stand before El Druid. I must retreat. Our task is short. I will bring order to chaos. Our time is short. for now. <clears throat> Shall we see who gathers enough tribute this time? Osmodan problems. <laughs> Remain steadfast.
So I don't have chat. And I think we've broken for you guys as well, so interactivity will be stunted. You cannot stand before El Druid. Understood. Okay. You cannot stand before El Druid. We got it though. It's all good. A variant never came, so. Our time is short. Uh, is Asmodan? Yeah, I think he'll get like a bunch of stacks here. Maybe he already used it. Evil will be rooted out. Thank you, because I clicked the wrong button. Okay. Alright, so the goal will be to get to level 10 without dying once. And my first goal should be to protect Medivh, no matter what, because he's got the Master's Touch. And after that, Zuldin, because he will have Tastingo. He went for a full auto-attack build, which I do believe is best. Either this one or the Q one. And then we try to carry Osmodan to the late game. I have ruined luck. Oh, double kill. The battle is mine. Is this the Melee Medivh? Worth it! What was that melee portal? This may be the same one as I had before. <laughs> Master's Touch uh, quest has been reset. So, uh, with Medivh, the first portal will appear at your feet, and the other one where you aim it. Now, if you look at Medivh here, the range is about this. This is the portal range. It's pretty damn good. But if you are in trouble, and you're facing a direction, and you press Alt E, which normally casts a spell at your feet, for example, Q, as you can see, like this. Uh, you will do a minimum distance directional portal of where you're facing, which normally isn't very good, you but it might just be what you need ruin. if you don't have time to choose a location. Indeed. You prefer to choose a further location, actually, and get sanked. And so th there w I played with a Medivh today who did melee portal the entire yeah, game, the even if it did nothing. And I told him nicely, uh, I, I was like, I if you if you choose a location, you can get more value. The, the like range the is way. half a screen. He just, either he didn't speak my language or chat is off or he didn't care. This might be the same one. Pretty close. <laughs> Damn. Uh, actually, Osmo needs to queue all the minions now, I guess. He needs to save it for minions. Uh, and not worry about team fight. Destroy. You can look on your own side of the map as Asmodan to know where their minion wife is, so you can just aim it here already before it appears on the vision. Indeed. He's waiting for it. But he lost uh, two or three because he didn't uh, use the trick of looking on your own side. I am going to get imposing will. You cannot stand before El Druid. Melee portal only. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's my kind of portal. Ah, he just finished Master's Touch. You can see by the little blue thing. 
That's nice. Wait, Rags. Wait, Rag only cast spell for one second and then he went off. I was still in range. Maybe we should do the boss. We should take this mercenary cast. Without delay. I think Zuljin and I can do it. To battle. We have boss and we can push with it. We have this complete, this one not yet. Forest medicine. Okay. How many stacks? Still seizing wrath would have been better so far. Oh wow, he doesn't know that you can't steal it like that anymore. <laughs> Only ley line works that way. Is there a smash? Yeah. Oh, I didn't save. Uh, I didn't save Zul'jin like I said I would because I went ham by myself. Uh, you shouldn't do it that way. Either way, it was 3v many, but... I should save it for him. To get more value out of Tastingo. Actually, I want to show you a trick real quick. I think I, I think I can do that. Oh, never mind. Later. Uh, Holy Ground. Nice interrupts. I did it a few times with Liming in the Brawl before. I always forget that you can do it, even though I knew the trick. Uh, you teleport out of the core. That was rather violent. And then you can mount up immediately. Expertly done. Quad kill. Mega kill. Mega kill. Killing spree. Nice. And that could be, should be maybe Not game. Like that, good if I push in the care. bottom fort, we might be able to get a keep out of that. By Depends on how not. fast they react. And what they prioritize on defending as well. Tyrael is actually a pretty good Medivh counter. You can uh, block the use of a portal with uh, Holy Ground. I must act. It did go down, but it got blocked by Leyline Seal. No! Don't walk out of my explosion! I want to shield you! I have yet to get value for uh, protection in death. By the way, if I win this Tyrio game in quick match, it will be my first Tyrio quick match win in like a year. I'm like 08 or something. That will be pretty hype. What did he take? Infused power. 
demonic smite. Hey, they changed the tooltip for this. Before it said periodically, and now they say every seven and a half seconds. That's really good to know. We'll blast a non-heroic unit. There you go. I grow tired of your petty squabbling. The only thing that they didn't say the is that it's immediate fear. upon casting, and then twice more. Wave clear. I feast on your and it's five of them. I think uh, Asmo can kill the keep easy with laser. He doesn't know it though. Uh, after you use the laser, you can move right here outside of the keep attack range and the laser will not disengage because keep has such a large hitbox. Of course, Zara did the work already, so it's fine. Well done. He's at 200 stacks so far. Uh, which is the same that you can have from Sieging Wrath after uh, five minutes or eight minutes, basically. And it also gives range, Sieging Wrath. So it's only from now onwards in this particular game that Taste for Blood is going to get better. But because it's quick match, I think he's probably just practicing it, which is fine. That's good. That's what quick match is also for. As long as you do your best, it's okay the to be in a practice of mode. Uh, Holy Arena, Heart and Shield, Nexus Blades. Hardened is the standard one. I'm gonna get Holy Arena though. Bonus damage. Note that it doesn't say spell or auto attack. That's because it's both. Oh, finally. I still have yet to get value for protection in death. Because we should take this mercenary cat. Because uh, so far, Enough. my allies have dodged me, or I was too deep. Either way, with that many keeps down and us having this level lead, I don't think it's possible to lose anymore. He even summoned General of Hell here. I kind of like it. It's not what I would do normally, but it's pretty funny. Uh, didn't get my sanct off. Maybe I should have insta sanct. The holy ground was good though. Secured the keep. Boom. So Arthas now has 15 physical armor. That makes mages better against him than normally. Still didn't hit anyone with protection and death, but it was a nice idea. I still think it's gonna be a win. It's not possible to defend this without Zul'jin. Let's look at our Zul'jin builds. You might be curious. I can't read chat, but I know what you think in chat. You can read your mind. If you want Axe, let the killing begin. Recklessness, Forest Medicine, Ferocity, and Amani Resilience. Let's keep for a six death game for him. There, Zul'jin. On the tougher team, the losing team. You want the axe? Never did complete it. Forest medicine with troll blood, also recklessness and ferocity. Victory. Same alt upgrade. GG. Thanks. MVP. Strumpf. Sounds German. As far as I know, that's Smurf. You know those blue cartoons, blue cartoon characters, Smurfs. Or was that Schlumpf? No, that's Schlumpf. Uh, my build was Horodric Reforging, so I can get more Holy Grams, Imposing to slow them, Reciprocate for bonus damage. Level 1 really is situational, you can get any of the 4 I think. Purge Evil is the usual one, the smite damage on heroes. 
but yeah, I, I thought this one was potentially going to be pretty good, but I would have had to have different positioning. Usually when you do holy grounding, you're pretty aggressive. You expect melee assassins to follow, and Zeratul was, and I got some pretty good sanks off on Zeratul. Some of them got countered by Leyline Seal, which was nice, by Lapa. And then uh, never did get to cast it on one of my allies. But nice idea. Nope, she's sweet pas, Zalamon. Ah, French. <laughs> it's French. Forced recruitment. I thank you. Yeah. Stay sane. We are with you in spirit. <laughs> thank you, Omega. It was actually pretty sane because we finally won material. Insane fight. Very fun. I'm impressed. 